this is pretty much my baby. So my typical day usually starts with a walk with my son. Living in Albarari is beautiful because we are all together as a family. We're all right next door to each other. As a family, we've always been uh, very conscious of our environment. I think we've always been in the garden with my father. When uh, my father developed the concept and the idea, obviously it was about the environment that the, the villas and the architecture sat in. It wasn't driven by the architecture. The vision for Albarari, really my father was very concerned about was Dubai had changed. It became very city-like. The formation of the gardens came about from the actual structure of the master plan. It was about leaf formations. In between the leaf clusters, it naturally formed these beautiful areas that we could landscape. You can actually wander around the whole of Albarari through the gardens. So we've got the woodland garden. And then we have the Renaissance garden. Mediterranean garden. From a design point of view, I was at the Inchboard School of Design, doing garden design in London. The water garden really is the lake and is stunning just from, I think, a nature point of view because it draws all the, all the birds. There is one garden which I wouldn't allow anyone to interfere, including my father, which is the contemporary garden, because I really wanted one garden to stand out and be very different. So Greenworks was established for the production of the plants for the initial development of Albarari. It's the largest privately owned nursery in the Middle East. It's really great as a landscape designer to get in there and see the plants. But my favourite part of it is that we, we bring in school kids to educate them on plants in general, but also sustainability and saving water. We ensured that our water was recycled water. We have also natural filtration of the water where we've used reed beds. All our waterways are non-chemical. We have absolutely no chemicals in anything. We've actually created a microclimate. In creating the microclimate, it means that we've actually managed to achieve two to five degrees lower than anywhere else in Dubai. Again, which ultimately will help with water consumption. like the Hyde Parks of this world. Every culture has the progression towards an environment that surrounds where they live. To be able to breathe again, to be able to socialize in. For us as Bedouins, we're, we were obviously attached to the desert, but also the oasis was very vital to how we live. 